الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر People also think too, like money just buys happiness and it absolutely is not the truth. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you gotta be right inside. Otherwise none of this is nothing. No, absolutely. They get everything, then this is this is something, this is everything. This pow. Mm-hmm. This is everything? I waste my life for this? This is yeah. everything? Allah, Akbar. And I came across this post by the Muslim boxer Badu Jack. I don't know, for some reason I expect his name to be Budrul Jack, but uh, Hey, I guess he's not a Bengali. So on this post, you can see Iron Mike Tyson praying alongside Badu Jack in what seems to be a congregational prayer other than Jumma. Now I know what some of you guys will be thinking. You'll be like, whoa, what's he doing? Nah, I'm only kidding. Some people just pray Jumma and inshallah they will work their way towards praying the five daily prayers which are obligatory in the religion of Islam. And those of you that are watching that are not Muslim, you're thinking, yeah, yeah, we get it, mate, but hang on just a minute. Because even if you look at the Old Testament and the New Testament, it is replete. That's right, it is absolute covered in quotes of prophets that are praying in the same way that Mike Tyson's praying. That's right, with their face on the ground. As you can see, whether it's Jesus, yeah, whether it's Moses, yep, whether it's Abraham, yes, that's right. And of course, you have other prophets as well. Falling on your face, it's prostration, mate. Muslims are the only ones who pray like that. That's consistent with the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the final testament, which is the Holy Quran. I think this is very profound because Mike Tyson is probably one of the most famous boxers, especially in the modern era. Even somebody that's as ferocious, that's as strong, that's well known, the master in his field as Mike Tyson, even he is in need of God. No matter who you are, no matter how famous you are, no matter you know, how rich you are because your fame, your richness, um, your athletic ability, it all comes from Allah. There was a quote that was quite profound and it said something along the lines of, we give so much time and attention and praise to the artist and his piece of work, but we fail to give attention and credit to the one who's created that artist, who has created the mind of that artist. Ali the giant. No way, there's no way the fighters can match him. He'll die for this shit, he'll die. I'm not gonna die for this. And those of you still wondering, I mean, why, why do Muslims, yeah, these Muslims with their beards, beardy weirdies. What is it? Why are they praying five times a day, mate? Why, why are you doing it, mate? Well, calm down, Dave. I'm gonna tell you because Salah translates as prayer, is a form of attachment for Muslims. We pray five times a day so we can stay attached to Allah, to God, our Creator, through our body, our movements. Because when we're praying, we are moving through our speech because we are speaking to God in our prayer, through our memory because we have memorized passages of the Quran, and of course imagination. Yeah, that we are imagining that we are standing in front of Allah. I'm just going to end with two points. <laughs> like I uh, mentioned at the start, some people unfortunately and sadly they only pray Jummah. But as a Muslim we should know that the Prophet peace be upon him has said that prayer is a basis of religion and whoever leaves it has destroyed his religion. This leads on to 
I think two main excuses that people give to not praying. Number one, people say, you know what, mate, I'm sinful. Yeah, when I become better, I'm going to pray. It seems like you've misunderstood the job of prayer. Yeah, allow me to edify, elucidate and educate you, my friend. That's right, because the example or the similitude of Salah that's given is that of a person that bathes five times a day. Are they going to have dirt left on their body? Of course not. So if a person is praying five times a day, are they going to have sins in their heart? Guys, no matter what happens, whether you're drinking, doing drugs, you're doing haram or whatnot, please, please, please do not ever leave your salah. The sin that you're doing holds its own penalty and missing salah prayer holds its own penalty. So for any logical person, you see that incurring two penalties makes no sense. Salah is incredibly important to keep your connection with God otherwise in this godless materialistic capitalist society that's designed to turn us away from God. Society! Society! society you know, society! And the other thing is a lot of people say Man, I just get lazy, I just get tired, so give me some advice about how I'm not going to be lazy. No mate, you're misunderstanding and misdiagnosing why you're not praying. It's not because you're lazy, because let's think about it. You're the type to get up 7.30, 8 in the morning to go to work. You're the type that used to get up early in the morning to go to school. You're the type that used to get to your job interviews beforehand. Why? Because you understood the value. That's right. Nowadays we fail to understand the value of Allah, value of God, naturally because we can't see Him. So that's why Allah, God tells us in the Quran, a reminder is beneficial for the believers. So we need to regularly remind ourselves of the greatness and the glory of Allah by going to study circles, by going to the mosque, by looking at YouTube lectures, by subscribing to Smile to Jannah, you know, all of this sort of integral and important stuff, mate. Because if we truly think about it, we would never steal in front of a policeman. We don't speed when there's a speed camera there. And of course, we don't flaff about when our boss is watching. So we have understand and respect for the these individuals so likewise if we truly understood the glory and the power of Allah we would also value what he's asked us to do and we would be prompt in doing it as well yeah if you don't pray try the next prayer yeah do your ablution try go to the mosque this is a good time to go to the mosque I know some of you guys feel embarrassed because certain people see you though what's he doing here now you wear the mask now people aren't standing next to you yeah there's more privacy that you can have and just go pray and then leave that's right it's better at the mosque because you're not rushing you don't have the distractions at home so please start it and let me know how things go that's right I wish you all the best and you will see the change that Salah prayer brings to your life. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.